In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python on Windows 11. All right, open up your browser. I'm using Google Chrome today. Type in download Python. And then you're going to click on the first link, which should take you to the python.org site. And we're going to download the latest version, which is 3.12.3. If you're using something other than Windows, uh, click on the respective link, whether that's Linux, Mac, or other. Okay, once that's done, you can go ahead and open it in File Explorer. Just double click on it. Okay, don't click Install Now, not just yet. First, you want to do Add Python.exe to Path. This is going to automatically create the environmental variable which will allow you to address Python uh, directly by name. All right, then click on Custom Install. Make sure all these are checked, and you probably want to do it for all users. Um, in case someone else logs into the computer, they can also have access to Python. If not, feel free to leave that unchecked. Okay, let's hit Next. This should be fine here. Again, install Python 3.12 for all users. Make sure we check that. Everything else looks good here. We don't need to download the debugging symbols. So go ahead and hit install. If you want to install it somewhere else, uh, feel free to, but I'm going to leave the default path here. setup was successful. Let's go ahead and click close. Next thing we'll do is validate. So let's go ahead and launch a command prompt. In the command prompt type python dash dash version. Since we added the path we automatically have the python environmental variable. So now if you type python this will drop you down to the uh, three carat prompt, which is the infamous Python prompt. All right, so from here we can run a Python command. We'll just do something simple. I will subscribe to the IT Unicorn. And there it is. We just did a simple print command and then it printed that to the screen. Okay, by default when we install Python, another thing that happens is the uh, default IDE or idle gets installed with it. So if we launch that, we can also run Python commands right in here. Please subscribe, comment, and hit the thumbs up. Okay, there you go, that printed that to the screen. Um, we'll just do a couple more commands here. We can define a variable, let's say D equals 10, E equals five, and then we'll print the uh, sum of those two. So we'll say D plus, oops, D plus E, 15. All right, we won't do any more uh, actual syntax here, but I just wanted to show you what happens by default after you install it. You have the path environmental variable. Uh, you can get the version from the command line, and then you can run uh, Python syntax directly in the IDLE. You could also create Python uh, files, .py files, by uh, compiling or putting together syntax and saving it. But I would highly recommend you using a um, another IDE, my, one of my recommendations for sure would be PyCharm. I've been using PyCharm for a long time, and I will make another video to show you guys how to get PyCharm installed in Windows 11. All right, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop me a comment. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Till the next one, take care.